This is a promotional video of a work titled Understanding Deployment Experience of 5G. In recent years, China has made substantial progress in the development of 5G mobile network, deploying over 3 million 5G base stations by the end of June 2023. This expansion is driven by the escalating demand for advanced mobile-reliant applications, such as the Internet of Things, augmented reality, and autonomous driving, which require network connectivity that is high speed and low latency. In response to these needs, and due to the revolutionary leap of 5G in many aspects, the government has heavily focused on advancing and implementing 5G technology. However, there exist some challenges. The current distribution of 5G base stations is uneven, which results in a network that struggles to meet capacity, availability, energy, and cost efficiency requirements. Moreover, we also lack knowledge in terms of the alignment between the deployed 5G base stations and the traffic demand. This raises questions. What is the degree and what are the underlying causes of this misalignment? And how can the misalignment be quantified? Additionally, practical experience from real-world data of 5G networks is missing for a comprehensive understanding of these issues. In this paper, we present the following contributions. Firstly, we conduct an empirical study using a large-scale real-world data set of 5G networks from a metropolitan city in China. We introduce a factor to measure the misalignment between traffic demand and the number of base stations. Secondly, we analyze the relationship between the misalignment factor and the energy efficiency, as well as the usage ratio of physical resource block. We offer insights into the inefficiency of the current 5G network. Specifically, we found that regions with negative misalignment factors serve as a primary cause for the inefficiency. Finally, we conduct further analysis on the influence of 4G traffic on the 5G misalignment factor to show that prioritizing 5G base stations in high 4G traffic areas causes negative misalignment factors. Thanks for watching.